Hey, what's up everyone? Um, I'm going to do a short little video here of two of Alec Mall's latest emulators. Um, this is the Atari 5200 emulator. It supports the analog movement of the Atari 5200 joystick. It also supports the keypad. Um, what's cool about the analog um, support is games like Gorf and um, Kaboom work correctly now. Instead of just moving all the way to the left or moving all the way to the right, they actually move correctly. Uh, let me show you an example. I'll load up GORF and show you what it looks like without analog support. So if you see, if I go left or right, it automatically either goes directly to the right and then centers back or directly to the left and centers back. Now if I enable analog support and continue, now it's normal. And a lot of emulators, believe it or not, a lot of 5200 emulators, believe it or not, do not support this feature. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another game here. And um, then I'll go to the other emulator. Let's play some Hero. Okay, the uh, next emulator is an Atari 2600 emulator. It's a port of Stella, and um, it's got a really cool interface. Let me show you guys. Pick a game like uh, Centipede. If you notice at the bottom here, you got um, some choices like you would on the um, actual Atari 2600 itself. You have the option for uh, selecting your TV type, like color and black and white. To change that, you would um, press the X button. Uh, your game select is just uh, selected by using the select button here. Your game reset is done by using the right shoulder button. Your um, game reset, uh, I'm sorry, your difficulty, game difficulty is set by using the Y button. And if you notice, the joystick here, you can switch between joystick and paddle control by using the left shoulder button. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, let's go ahead and start a game. Uh, your fire button is just the A button. And as you can see, the Atari 2600 runs nice and smooth in all its flickering glory. And it's very hard to play through a viewfinder here, so I'm surprised I didn't die yet.
Um, this is uh, still in beta. There's uh, one game that is um, not running 100% uh, full speed, and that's uh, Pitfall 2. Um, we're having some, um, Alec Mall's having some problems with the sound. I'll show you how that runs. Um, it's running between 55 and 60 frames per second, but there is some noticeable slowdown. He is currently working on that issue. I'm sure he'll have it solved shortly. Um, let me show you that right now. Other than that, everything runs perfectly fine. 100% uh, 60 frames per second. So you can hear the sounds kind of choppy, and you can see it's going between 54 and 55 frames per second. I mean, it's playable, but it's not full 60 frames per second yet. And there you have it, uh, two great emulators from Alec Mall. And um, when you guys get your GCW zeros, um, I'm sure they'll be even more improved. And uh, everything will be running at 60 frames per second. So I hope you guys are excited. Okay, I got two emulators for you guys today. Um, this is the Atari 5200 emulator. Um, this was done by Alec Mall. And I'm going to fucking kill you, dog! Shut up! This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science We do what we must Because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying Till you run out of cake And the science gets done And you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive Black Mesa That was a 
就。